and is very empowering. You want to be far enough in that by the time you are having that first fight with the borrow checker, you are willing to accommodate it, which is really the key with Rust. With Rust, you have to be like, just do it Rust's way. Let Rust win is, what, is kind of the, my, my lesson so far, is that you have to be willing to rethink the way. Like, you've got like, I want to solve this this way. And Rust is like up in your grill. And the borrow checker's on you. And, and also Rust, there are things where it's trying to be helpful. And the compiler can be very helpful. Sometimes it's going to be like, I think you, like, you want to, like, did you mean this variable? Or add a mute here. Or like, take this mute away. Or do this. And you're like, OK, compile. I'll do that. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. But once you're in borrow checker hell, it's like, oh no, no, you meant to do this. You're like, oh okay, I'll, I'll, I'll okay, I don't understand what I'm doing. You're like, okay, I'll like, I'll add a mute there. Then you run it again, and the compiler's like, oh no, all this other shit's wrong. Like, who told you to do that? I, I almost want the compiler to be like, who seriously told you to do that? It's like, you told me to do that. Like, I didn't tell you to do that. I mean, the, the compiler could really like gaslight you.